Welcome back to Worldwide Exchange. The nuclear industry is having a renaissance as data centers and the AI boom drive energy demand. A key factor in meeting that demand is uranium. Our Pippa Stevens got an inside look at one of the early winners of the energy race, Cameco, and its Cigar Lake mine in northern Saskatchewan. Good morning, Frank. We're about 1,600 feet underground at the world's highest grade uranium mine. This mine alone, Cigar Lake, supplies about 11 percent of global annual uranium demand. But it's a really challenging deposit, meaning that Cameco had to develop an entirely new mining technique. To get to the uranium, workers go down into the earth 450 meters. By comparison, the Empire State Building is 443 meters tall. They then drill upwards into pockets of the uranium-rich ore, shooting water at high speeds to extract the material. It's transported underground through a series of pipes, ground into a sand-like substance, and pumped to the surface. We got an exclusive look at the mine's unique drilling process. Parts of this area have already been mined. You can tell because if you look up at the ceiling, you can see where the jet boring system drilled upwards to access the ore. And now, because they got all of the ore out of that cavity, it's been backfilled with concrete. Now, Cigar Lake developed a specialized jet boring system to access this very high grade of uranium. The system runs along these tracks so that they can move it along the length of this tunnel. Chemical is the biggest uranium producer in the West, and Cigar Lake is its second largest mine. The nuclear industry overall is benefiting from a number of tailwinds, most recently support from big tech. It came on very fast. All of a sudden, about a year ago, or maybe a year and a half ago, we started hearing about these hyperscalers, the Microsoft, the Google, uh, NVIDIA, like needing meta, needing massive amounts of clean electricity and being responsible for the electrons that they were going to use and say, let's start to look at nuclear and say, hey, we want to be in on the nuclear piece. Cameco doesn't disclose how much of its uranium goes to the U.S., but it's the only meaningful producer in Canada which supplies about 30 percent of the U.S.'s uranium. And with geopolitical tensions rising, including around nuclear power, mines like this one are becoming increasingly important. Frank?